Hands-on exercise number two, we are going to use var to declare three variables. The variable should have package level scope. Do not assign values to the variables. Use the following identifiers for the variables and make sure the variables store values of the following type. Make sure the variables are of the following type, right? Meaning they can, meaning they can store values of that type, meaning they can store values of that type, right? We're learning about type, how it's all about type. So we need X, Y, and Z. So we're gonna go back to the Go Playground and I'm gonna get rid of this line up there at the top and hit enter. So it just refreshed it. And, uh, and now we need X, Y, and Z up at the package level. So var X is gonna be something and var Y is gonna be something and var Z is going to be something. I'm guessing I probably said int string bool, but let's go look. And make sure <laughs> you pause the video and do these hands-on exercises before you watch the solution. So int string bool. Cool, now we're gonna print out the values for each identifier, awesome. So that's pretty similar to what we did before. So we'll do x, and I'll do these each on one line. y and z. And just in case you're wondering what magic that was, control C, control V, just copying and pasting or command C, command V if you're on a Mac. All right, so we have X, Y, and Z. We've declared that variable X is of type int. We've declared that variable Y, the variable with the identifier Y, is of type string. And this is type bool. And now we're printing those out and we're going to see something. We have zero, we have emptiness, an empty string, and we have false. And so the last question in this hands-on exercise is the compiler assigned values to the variables. What are these values called? Those values are called the zero value, the zero value. That's hands-on exercise number two. You're well on your way to achieving Jedi level number one. Keep doing the hands-on exercises, you're getting there. <laughs>